Relationships can seem quite complicated. When I have clients sitting in front of me and I begin to get into the details, for most people it could easily become overwhelming, wondering where to start and the cause of the issues the couple are facing. What I do instead is simplify things and I go back to basics. Ultimately, from an NLP, also known as Neuro Linguistic Programming point of view, there are only two main reasons for relationship breakups. This is what we will cover in this video. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. There are two main reasons for relationship breakups or issues and they are 1. Negative anchoring and 2. Unfulfilled strategies. Let me explain. An anchor is a stimulus response. These can be negative, neutral or positive. What do I mean by stimulus response? It is a response our bodies give given a certain stimulus. Here might be some examples you can relate to. If I say roses, what emotion conjures up? Is it a feeling of love, of romance, of feeling adored? Here is another example most people can relate to. What about the smell of coffee, especially in the morning? Most people cannot function properly without their first cuppa. Or how about going past a bakery early in the morning, doesn't your stomach say, Oh yum, I want some of that. And finally, how about your favorite song? or the song you share with your partner. Now depending if your folks are together or recently broken up, your song can either have you feel happy or have you be in tears. Don't most people have negative anchors attached to their jobs and first thing they say to themselves is, oh do I have to get out of bed? Just another five more minutes, please. On the other hand, advertisers know all about creating positive anchors because they want you to feel good about buying their products or services. How does this relate to relationships? Let's first start with how anchors are formed. An anchor is formed whenever we are in a high emotional state for the most part. Whatever is around us gets emotionally linked, right, wrong or indifferent. Let us say you had a bad day at work and then you go home and see your partner. Over time with the same emotions, those feelings get linked to your partner and you don't even know why because what can happen over time is all you need to do is see your partner's face and those negative emotions come right back. Worse still, you both are arguing and angers and frustrations are being linked between you two to where it comes to a point where as soon as you see your partner's face you begin to feel angry or frustrated. We have to be so careful of our emotional state when we are with our beloved. If you are going to argue, ensure they are short as possible, then go away and calm down until you can come back into that loving state so the emotions do not get hooked up. When I see clients and they start telling me their situation, guess what I am hearing? That's right, all of their negative anchors and the reasons for them. And worse, you might end up leaving that person only to find someone else. Given time, those unresolved negative emotions will find their way to get linked to the new person and then it cycles and people wonder why they can't keep a relationship. The therapy techniques I use allow a person to neutralize those negative anchors so you can re-enter your relationship anew and fresh. This is available to graduates of my audio programs. Moving on to the second main cause for relationship breakups or issues, unfulfilled strategies. What on earth am I talking about? Each one of us has strategies for feeling angry, loved, excited, overwhelmed, depressed or any other emotion. Other words you might relate to easier are process or procedure. The thing is, they happen so quickly we are unaware of them. Our bodies have to know when to feel a certain emotion. This comes from the stimulus response provided. We have already covered that. In order for us to process that, there is a specific strategy each of us goes through to get to the emotion. And the fun part is, everyone is different. Let me explain it this way. To win at chess, there is a strategy or multiple strategies. To knit a pullover, there is a strategy. To get to work, there might be several different strategies. It is the same with our emotions. What runs or operates these strategies? The answer is our rules. These we have assigned to ourselves over the years and yes, may have been reinforced by external influences, although ultimately, we take them on board and again, for the most part, unknowingly. 
If you are into computer programming, you'll be able to relate to what I'm about to say next. The rules are worded in the form if then. An example might be if I receive flowers, as stated previously, then I feel loved. If I hear someone's voice, I just melt. If I just think of somebody, I shiver. Taking this further and thinking of the most important components of a relationship, we all have strategies for feeling loved, cared for, feeling understood, relaxed, excited, aroused, etc. In addition to this, it is important to find our partner's values. Values are what we find important to ourselves. Someone who spends most of their time working, you'll find one of their life's values is their job. For mothers, it is usually looking after, protecting and raising their children. And values also have a strategy. Hence, it is also of real importance to discover our partner's values. To summarize the second point regarding unfulfilled strategies, you have never heard of anyone say, I am leaving you because I love you so much, or I am so enthralled and fulfilled by you, or I am leaving you because you make me so happy. Thus, it is up to us to find out what it takes to have our partners feel loved, happy, safe, secure, adored, admired, etc. From there, since we are all different and it is easy to get conflicting rules, is to find a balance through compromise. If one person wants to be with you all the time and the other likes time out, there is going to be a problem. So both need to work out a balance and can only be achieved successfully via compromise. I have done my best to keep this as simple as possible for the purposes of this video. If you'd like to know more, I cover this in more detail in my programs. I trust you have enjoyed this video and to ensure you keep getting more great quality information, click on one of the other videos at the end here. Or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Course for Women or Awaken Her Passion, A Course for Men. I go into more detail with this information there. You receive a full 30 day money back guarantee and get to listen to two thirds of the course with online support in our Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you so click on the link in the description box. Or if you prefer for now to watch some shorter videos and still get great quality content, like how to minimize arguments in your relationship or how to know your relationship is in trouble and the like, click on the videos you see on your screen now. I hope to see you in our Facebook group.